this is a brand new house that we, we had built. And so the backyard was empty. It was just, there was nothing there. We had uh, started out with some other pool companies and patio companies. We had actually seen a sign in our neighbor's yard that said Darlington Designs. And I thought, why not? Let's just give, you know, one more a call. Mr. and Mrs. Sarah Daring uh, had called us out uh, for an initial consultation just to review the site and talk about a possible large-scale project. They had a pretty cool wish list of some challenges and some really neat things they wanted to incorporate into the space. We didn't know where to start, and so when we met with Darlington Designs, we told them we wanted a wow factor. We gave them some ideas, and then they came back and, and gave us designs and, and some things that they thought would work and, and showed us how it could fit within our backyard. They asked, how can we take some of this from this discussion into an actual design and, and a vision that we can execute on? And I talked to them a little bit about our design process. It starts with this in-home consultation. It's fun, talking about ideas. But from there, we come out and do a site visit, map the property, shoot the elevations, get some of the basic things we need to develop a, a base map for the property. From there, we develop a conceptual design. It's a mixture of some of the things they wanted and needed, and some of our ideas and creativity, combining them to hopefully come up with something in line with, uh, with the vision. There were a lot of really cool design components of this project. The curvilinear use of line in the space, the big broad sweeps in the landscape, and the multi-level terrace and patio levels so they would have a separate area that could be like the chat room and then a separate area for hanging out by the pool or then a separate one even still for their cooking and grilling. You know he laid everything out for us. Going through line by line explaining every single detail that was a great experience just going through knowing exactly what things are costing the timing of things questions they were responsive and they answered them things that we might have asked five or six times the same thing. <laughs> he wanted to make sure that we got a product that we wanted. Uh, we presented the final design and the Sarah Darians uh, were ready to move forward with the project. From there we were out of the gate running with construction. So the communication and the project management I felt like was awesome. I'm kind of one of those annoying clients. I am always pestering them. What's going on today? What's happening today? There was times where I would tell Kristen, you know, not to not to follow up and just, and just don't, leave, you know, alone. leave <laughs> alone. Pretty much within an hour, you either call me back or email me back. They explained things and the whole process from the beginning and constantly, you know, kept us informed when things were happening. There were a lot of custom features to this project. It was great to work with a client who was so into wanting to have something really special that helped us push the design envelope even further. Uh, they wanted things like the waterfall and the laminars and extra lighting and bubblers so we could carry all those cool features into other ones that we had previously designed within their outdoor kitchen space and in their landscape. You know, they spray paint your backyard to, um, to seeing them dig the hole, uh, to, the, you know, coming and filling the pool, to being all cleaned up to what we have now, the, to the finished product. I had a lot of friends say, wow, this happened really fast. And I was like, you know, it did. It did happen fast. There's really a lot of moving pieces. To make a project like that successful uh, requires a really great team effort, clear expectations, appropriate management, communication to deliver a really wonderful experience to the client on time, uh, under budget, uh, and really something that exceeds their wildest expectations. Gorgeous. Beautiful. One of my favorite parts of the entire project is the customer walkthrough at the end of a job. Everything's done, they're seeing it unveiled for the first time, and really to be able to walk through that space and talk about it and see them just enthusiastic and just in love with it is something very rewarding and gratifying. I look forward to coming home from work and spending time with the kids and it feels like I'm at a resort. It feels amazing. I mean, to just come out and just to see the work that Darlington Designs has done. I had some friends over and, and my friend said, this feels like I'm at a hotel. I need to, you know, I don't want to go back home. And his sister, when she came said, this is the most beautiful pool I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, you know what, I agree, I think so too. One of the things we strive to do here at Darlington Designs is make not only the design process but the construction process as effortless as possible for our clients. And to get that feedback so consistently that that process is different than things they've experienced in the past is pretty invaluable to us. I can't say enough good things about Darlington Designs. The whole team, the whole team was fantastic. I, I would say what really measures it for me is I consider Simon a friend, and so I'd be happy to recommend them to anybody. The mission that I have is to create spaces for my clients where they can spend time with family and loved ones and our projects being the backdrop to that setting.